This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. The motives that drive people to commit the most ghastly and hideous crimes are many and varied, and so are the criminals. There is an undeniable and compelling interest in these crimes and the people who carry them out. We may not care to admit it, even to ourselves, but evil has its attractions, even if it is only to act as a warning to others. Some people will kill for money, having no real sense of right or wrong to show them that a handful of cash is not worth a human life. John Hay tried to claim bizarre motives for his murders in a bid to get a verdict of insanity, but he undoubtedly killed for cash benefit. Bell Guns likewise murdered for profit, working her way through an unknown number of husbands and lovers to gain their money. Others kill out of pride, or to show their fellow criminals that they are worthy of respect. Many a gang member has killed, sometimes more than once, simply so that he would fit in. The true gang bosses, of course, keep themselves carefully removed from any actual crimes. Al Capone was famously convicted of tax evasion after police failed to find any evidence to link him directly with the many crimes that his gang carried out on his orders. Dutch Schultz was similarly careful, but this did not save him from being murdered by his fellow gangsters when he got too arrogant. A few crimes spring from simple amoral arrogance. Nathan Leopold and Richard Loeb killed because they were bored and wanted to see if they could outfox the police. Sex has long been a prime motive in killing. Jealous rage or lust has been enough to turn some men into killers. More disturbing, perverted urges have driven others. Peter Curtin roamed Germany in the 1930s, killing for pleasure with ever-increasing ferocity. Kenneth Bianchi and Angelo Buono found fame as the hillside stranglers in 1970s California as they raped and butchered a succession of women. Some find the most unlikely accomplices. Sex killer Paul Bernardo had the help of his attractive girlfriend, Carla Amolka, even when her own sister became a victim. Some get a taste for murder and kill for many reasons. Charles Ng and Leonard Lake killed men for money, women for sexual kicks, and children if they got in the way.